Hey y'all, happy Monday. So we are still digging into um, all about the Father. And we've been talking about Jesus, of course, our access point to the Father and Him introducing us to God as Father. Last week we dug into the new birth, being born again, what that actually means. And we're going to take that a little bit farther this week. And so we finished in um, John John 3, <clears throat> talking about our spirits being born again. Remember Jesus meeting with Nicodemus and saying, you must be born of the spirit. So I love, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying this phrase because I really do love the phrase, I love the imagery, I love what it conveys. In that the Passion translation in Matthew 3, 11, when John is talking to those who he is baptizing, says, you know, I baptize, I baptize you with water, but the one coming after me, um, he will submerge you into union with the spirit of holiness and with a raging fire. So he will submerge you into union with the spirit of holiness or with the Holy Spirit. Um, so through our natural births, we're credited to, as John 1, so if we go to John chapter 1, our natural births were credited to the impulse of the flesh or to the will of the natural father. Um, and that is John 1, 13. Let's see. Who owe their birth neither to bloods nor to the will of the flesh, that of the physical impulse, nor to the will of a man, that of the natural father, but to God, they are born of God. So being born again in our spirits is what enables us to live like Jesus. So when we are born again into the family of God, Jesus is God's son, so then we should also be like our father, like our brother, Jesus. Um, if we read a little bit um, up, go up a verse in John chapter 1, um, it says, talking about Jesus, but to as many as did receive and welcome him, he gave the authority, the power, privilege, and the right to become children of God. That is, to those who believe in, adhere to, trust in, and rely on his name. When believing in his name, remember, if we just rewind all the way back to what we've been talking about for months now, is that it's no longer about your father's name, right? It's no longer about Father Abraham. It is now about Father God to whom we come through Jesus Christ. So we owe our birth, our birth, this new born again, this spiritual birth is not up to anybody else. You know, um, I think about Tamar, <laughs> you know, we talked about her um, in December and the trouble that she went through. And, you know, she was pregnant, uh, impregnated by Judah and she had twins. And then Bathsheba, who got pregnant by David and bore um, a son who passed. And uh, these these women that we just talked about who had no choice in the matter, and the children who had no choice in the matter. But we are the ones who make the decision regarding being born again unto salvation. It is not, um, I go back to Matthew chapter 3 where, you know, John is ripping the Pharisees and new ones. Um, Matthew chapter 3 where John, I get my, gospel, my names in the Gospels, <laughs> um, and he says, uh, John chapter 3, verse 7, But when he saw many coming from among the wealthy elite of the Jewish society and many of the religious leaders known as the Pharisees coming to witness the baptism, he began to denounce them, saying, You offspring of vipers, who warned you to slither away like snakes from the judgment? You must prove 
your repentance by a changed life. And don't think you can get away with merely saying to yourselves, but we're descendants of Abraham. It's it's no more that we're just going to, It's it's not checking a box and you're not checking a box for all people. This is, I recognize that I have sin in my life. That the things that I have been doing, the way that I have been living are not good. And I don't want to live like this anymore. And it's a repentance, a sorrow for the way in which we've been living, and a turn around and go the other way. And then going the other way is what we're going to dig into this week. That baptism that Jesus baptizes us in... Is the baptism in the Holy Spirit where he submerges us into union with the Holy Spirit. We'll dig into that tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.